Josiah Gray to pitch this inning for the National League. And Josh Young to lead off the eighth pitch from Gray is lifted to center field. Routine for Mookie Betts. One away in the third. And another one coming up after him. Gray to high him with a 2 2. Squeezed by Murphy and two gone in this third innings. Marcus Simeon, 32 years old in his 11th year, cracks this one to third. Arnado's got it. And Josiah Gray in his All Star debut goes 1 2 3. 2023 All Star Josiah Gray joining the program now. He is making the rounds at MLB Network, hitting up all of our shows. We're always appreciative to have players come on. And Josiah, first of all, congratulations on a, a tremendous year 143 strikeouts and a career high 30 starts for you. What's your biggest takeaway from uh, this past season? Uh, just staying healthy. I think, you know, that's the first goal we always think about is, you know, making every start for the team. So. Being able to go out there, keep the team in a lot of games, you know, was really positive, but also just learning, being able to learn from start to start and be able to face some good lineups, you know, a lot of these playoff teams and just learn and become a better pitcher every day. You mentioned good lineups. I tell you what, the Texas Rangers have one, but you made quick work of them. We just showed it, Josiah. You get Josh Young on the fly out. You get Jonah Heim on the strikeout, and then you get Marcus Semi in the ground out, so almost an out of every variety. How did you handle that lineup? Yeah, honestly, going into that game, uh, did no scouting just because of how <laughs> active the the All-Star Game festivities are. But, yeah, you got to be aggressive with those guys. You obviously see what they're doing against the Astros. You know, they're aggressive, they're disciplined, and they can hit the long ball. So, wanted to just work my best pitches in the zone. You know, once I got young to fly out, you know, I was able to let my shoulders down a bit and then, you know, just let my pitches work. But uh, it was a really fun experience and got some really good hitters out. Josiah, this is a lineup that you mentioned is aggressive, but the problem is there's not a hole all the way one through nine. If you're a starting pitcher in a situation like that, how do you manage it? Is it is it pitch by pitch? Is it inning by inning? What are you trying to, to micromanage to have success throughout your start? I think you just take it pitch by pitch. You know, you go in with the game plan, but, you know, once that first batter steps in there, you know, the game plan sort of, you have to adjust on the fly. So you have to know what you do well, but you have, obviously have to know what, you know, they do well as well. So uh, with any team, you know, you kind of have to just be aware of where your danger zones are, where you can get, you know, early strikes, where you can get them to chase, things like that. So, uh, you know, the Rangers and Astros, you see with both of them, they don't chase, they swing it, you know, a lot of pitches in the zone. So it gets a lot tougher for you as a pitcher. And it seems like that Phillies lineup as well is not doing a lot of chasing. They just seem to be hitting the ball out of the ballpark. Obviously, as a pitcher for the Nationals, you're quite familiar with what the Phillies can do. What makes them so dangerous? I think you see it. Uh, you know, it starts with Schrober. You know, when he goes, they all go. But then, you know, you have Castellanos, uh, Trey Turner, Bryce Harper doing what they're used to doing. And, you know, it all runs through those four guys. So when they're hitting the long ball and when they're putting together good at bats, because they also all have great eyes, then it makes it a lot tougher. And then you have, you know, Stott, Rio Muto, um, Marsh as well, that, you know, can also take you out of the ballpark. So uh, it's a really tough lineup. You see what they're doing already, you know, throughout the whole postseason. And they're just hitting the ball out of the ballpark. And, you know, the opposing team just really has no chance. Josiah, they're going to send Brandon Fott to the mound for game three as far as the Arizona Diamondbacks are concerned. He's a young pitcher. You're a young pitcher, but there's a lot of pressure on him now to try to change the course for the Arizona Diamondbacks. If you were in that situation, how do you think you would approach that game three start knowing it's, you know, a, kind of a do or die situation? Yeah, it definitely is do or die. I think, you know, you have to go out there and, and trust your stuff, you know, as cliche as it is. You know, you don't want to let the moment get too big for you because, you know, that's when things sort of speed up and, you know, you look up and Bryce Harper's coming up with two guys on base with no outs, you know. So I think it's managing that first inning, managing Schwarber and, and, Har and Harper and Trey Turner and then, like, letting those shoulders down and seeing what you can do with your best stuff because I'm sure, you know, they're going to go to the bullpen early. But it's managing those early innings, you know, if you give up a long ball, you know, minimize it to a solo shot and just give your team a chance to win. No question about it. It'll be interesting to see what both Brandon Fott and, uh, you know, the 
everybody in pitching with Ranger Suarez. It seems like the Phillies pitching staff has been so good, but it's also a good opportunity for Brandon Fott to show us what he has. I want you to tell me about the event that you did yesterday, Josiah, because it seemed like it was a lot of fun. It's a play ball event. Boys and Girls Club from New Rochelle participated. What was that experience like for you? It was amazing. You know, growing up in New Rochelle, I've always wanted to be able to give back, however, you know, with the game of baseball. So with MLB having the play ball event yesterday, it was pretty seamless and it made, you know, perfect sense for me to come there and just help out the kids, at, you know, from ages 6 to 12 and just enjoy their time for an hour. You know, it was an after school program uh, with just in time baseball and being able to be there, I think the kids, you know, really felt the impact of, you know, someone from New Rochelle being there, being able to say, hey, you know, I my love of baseball, you know, grew me to become a big leaguer and uh, hopefully the kids had a lot of fun with it. We had a lot of fun with it. You know, I'm looking forward to events in the future. And you said that you're from that area, obviously. What was it like for you pitching at Yankee Stadium? Oh, it was amazing. I, I would say that was uh, my number one moment from this year. You know, obviously the All-Star game was something that was, you know, unexplainable, but being able to pitch against, you know, my hometown team and, you know, have results with, you know, 30, 40 friends and family in the in the stands. You know, I'll take that day any day, and you know, it was a lot of fun to do that in front of them. All right, well, uh, well earned. You certainly deserved it. It's always a pleasure talking to you. And again, congratulations on your All Star season. Hopefully, uh, the first of many, Josiah. Thanks for being with us. Enjoy the network today. Absolutely. Thank you guys for having me.